from the head coach that has been recruiting Tanaya Latson for so long that uh, even she has been surprised at the start for the freshman Phenom who just gets the ball and gets us started for Florida State. And a quick three cashed in from Aaron Howard, the 6'1 redshirt senior from Madison, Wisconsin. Presbyterian team coming off of a loss to Florida. This is their third straight game against a Florida team. And they have lost the previous two, one to Jacksonville, one to Florida. And Sam, we always talk about, you know, it's hard to replace a legend. Sue Simrau is Florida State women's basketball. She built this program with her own two hands, took it to an Elite Eight, made it one of the best programs in the ACC. Latson tried to just push that one across. Quick turnover, though, charging towards the basket. Shot no good for Howard, gets her own rebound, puts it back up. Presbyterian has struggled to keep teams off the glass, and Florida State already with four second chance points. Mid-range jumper good for Nuria Connell. Mariana Ballance Weber cashes in the three. Very, very difficult to guard, Sam. Presbyterian 0 for last eight from the floor. They are 0 for eight from three. And Florida State is two for two now on back-to-back -back possessions. Snoop Turnage hoops in the ACC. It's been an excellent start to the season. Four teams in the ACC in the top ten right now. What a stuff there for Michaela Timpson and another one. Michaela Timpson, though, look at this. Just too easy. Great job of not fouling. Blocks it with the left. Amari oh, went from making that outlet pass yeah. for the three to running all the way around the three-point line to grab that rebound. I love that hustle from Amaria Gordon. A lot of that is on roster continuity, and when you have 11 new players, a lot of these players are still learning how to play with each other. Tania Latson's got three steals already in the game, takes that one all the way back the other way. Encouraged more Division I teams and big schools to invest in women's hoops, and now we are seeing that investment pay off. So rest in peace to Coach Billy Moore, a Hall of Famer that does a better job of compelling non-conference scheduling than women's basketball. How about the threes falling in for Florida State? There is OMG. My favorite time to shoot a three was always in transition. You're just going to get open looks, and this was a good job really in the half court. Presbyterian just can't buy a basket right now, Kelly. And Sam, they've had some decent looks, especially yeah. from three in that first quarter, but they are cold as ice, two for 21. For Presbyterian in the D1 era of the program, so they are missing her. We talked about all the changes, too, on the roster, 11 newcomers. There's a nice shot in the corner, three put in by Aubrey Kirsch. Almost halfway through the second quarter, there's Brianna Brady having it stuffed in the post back the other way. Lots of from behind. And Kenseth with a great play. Even more impressive from Kenseth. Good look and a nice pass. Westlake High School. There's another steal. Latson the other way. And Latson, her first made field goal of the game, now has four points. Trying to look inside. Skip pass all the way out. Kirsch. Three to shoot. Gotta get a shot off. And a good Paige Kinseth. At the five, Valenzuela at the four, and Howard at the three of good size. And Valenzuela with her shooting ability, which right on cue, <laughs> to have her at that high post area. Timpson double teamed in the corner there. Moved around Valenzuela. Mariana Valenzuela, three for three from long range tonight. Valenzuela now with the floater. Doesn't get the friendly roll, follows it up. Second shot, no good. Snoop Turnage on the follow. So just getting underway here in the second half. Kelly Gramlich, Sam Ravich on hand with you here. Still have more basketball to play after we wrap up. NC State and Davidson will be playing on the ACC Network. There's an and one. To go with seven points and four rebounds. So she's putting together quite the stat line. Offensive rebound. Latson fires from three and hits. 
Latson, her second made field goal of the night. See if that gets her going. Quickly back the other way. Latson wide open from the wing. In and out. She's had a couple of those. Followed up, though, by KK Tipson, who puts it back up and in. They're the second best blocking team in the country behind South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina is averaging 10 blocks per game, which is just crazy. But they've done a great job. A lot of that is Michaela Timpson. She's averaging over two and a half blocks per game. She leads the ACC in that category as well. Aaron Howard with a pull-up J. And, and that's really impressive. Of course, the freshmen, we don't have anything to go off of. But Aaron Howard, Valenzuela, Gordon, all these different players, they have improved. And that's tremendous credit to Coach Wyckoff and her staff and the... FSU strength of schedule is not great. It's in that 135 range, but they've been impressive against a little bit of a weaker schedule. And mm -hmm. with Coach Wyckoff, I think some people were saying, okay, Sue Simrau, she's a legend. Florida State continuing to run away with this one. Remember, they have UConn coming up next on Sunday as Christina Klein knocks down a three. She had eight points. Every single player available tonight for Florida State has scored. How about that move for KK Timpson? But uh, the officials did indeed make the right call. 60 to 21 now. There's another turnover for Presbyterian. Back the other way. OMG puts it up and in. She's got seven. No. Corner three. Rims in and out. Offensive rebound. Valencia Meyer couldn't finish. And it's going the other way. And I think in general they've gotten some good looks from three. But... They've really struggled from beyond the arc. Myers, great space underneath. And Valencia Myers now with six points. And the way they're spreading the ball around has been impressive tonight. I know it's early, Sam, and I don't like to jump to conclusions, but I think Florida State is definitely in the discussion for the deepest team. When they started 13-0, Valencia Myers was the only player on this roster that was actually on that team. Nice spin move by Valenzuela in the paint. He's also happy to go bang inside as well. Kinsick with a nice move and an elbow jumper falls. 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And this communication leads to a basket on the other end for Omaria Gordon. Who has just been excellent this year as a sophomore for UConn is out with a knee injury for the next couple weeks so she won't play can they take advantage of the boards UConn is really low actually in terms of offensive rebounding that's something I think FSU can take advantage of but one thing I've seen tonight Sam and we just saw PC make a three there five for 25 from three here in this game and that one falls in Sarah Bajetti. Six different players making up those nine made threes, by the way. Here's Latson with the floater in the paint. And the pocket's picked. Latson's got seven steals tonight, KG. Already season high in steals, forced turnovers, and points off of turnovers. And there's another one, make it eight for Latson. Latson now leading the way with 24 players in double figures for Florida State. That's a nice look there to Brady. We talk more about this Florida State team and, and all the shuffling that went around when head coach Sue Semrau announced that she was retiring. And, you know, you can talk all you want about the accomplishments for Coach Semrau, the wins, losses. One thing we know for sure, KG, and I, I know you would agree with me on this, Florida State women's basketball is in a better place now than it was when she took over in 1997. And they look like they're poised for another run this year. To be a year after year contender in the ACC, always a threat to finish in the top four. They're one of the best programs, one of the most consistent programs in the country. Three and a half to play in the game. Latson faked the three, puts it on the floor, gets to the rack and finishes for the start that Latson had to finish the way that she is, and she knows where the game is at, but she's still playing 100%. I mean, that's exactly what you want to see from your freshman. Exactly, and a again. lot of freshmen, a lot of freshmen would have that first half that has Georgia Tech, Clemson, Wake Forest, Florida State, Miami. That's a pod where a lot of wins can be. You play all of those two whites. Florida State. 
will have this last possession. And Carrillo on the drive puts it up and in. And Florida State will opt to just dribble it out here. Kelly, I've got to get your thoughts on this Florida State team that improves to 11-1 tonight because right now, Florida State is for...